different ways. One of the first things I want to do once I try to take his back is I want to get the, the over under control right here. But sometimes this guy will defend the arm here and I can't put my arm under here. But I can still cross face him this way. Um, so I'll only really go for this move if I can't get the over under this way. Uh, so I'm here, I sprawl, I get to the back, and I cross face him, him immediately. Next, someone grab my glasses. It's like getting all sweaty up right now. Next, I wanna grab my own sleeve this way right here. And I grab my own hand this way. And if I could, I wanna trap at least one of his legs so that I could finish him with the sleeve choke right here. Now, if you guys seen UFC 1, this is a choke that Royce Gracie used to beat uh, Ken Shamrock. Ooh, so, yeah. so if it works on the world's oh, most dangerous man, it can work on anybody. <laughs> so, the really double legs me. Sprawl, push his hand down, his head into the floor, and you sprawl. Next, you switch around to the side right here. I'm trying to get this underhook this way, but he won't let me. But you could still cross face him this way. You want you don't have to make I mean, you have to make sure his your forearm's like under his neck, but if it's not, you, you could you have to be kind of mean and make him look this way. So that he has to get lift his chin. Next, the hand that's under the, that's cross facing him grabs the other sleeve and you connect his form, your own forearm this way. And I like to hook his leg so he, he doesn't run away. And then I just straighten both arms out. You good? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. You guys have any questions? Can you see him? Yeah. Uh, okay. So he grabs my legs, trying to like double like me. I stiff arm his head and I sprawl out. Once I feel him kind of settle, because he's gonna still kind of drive into me. He's gonna still try to drive and like try to take me down, especially if he's a, a wrestler who's not really comfortable on his back. He's gonna try to do everything he can to take me down. So I have to keep my legs back, sprawl out, and stiff arm his head this way. And then when I feel he's ready to settle down, then I'll switch to the back. So he's defending this underhook this way, won't let me get it, so I cross face him here. This hand grabs the inside of my other sleeve and I grab and I reach around on the other side of my forearm. And then I hook his leg just to keep him secure and keep him like close to me so he doesn't run away. And then I straighten out both arms. It's, it's called the sleeve choke. You guys have any questions? It feels like more like a choke, a hill choke. Yeah. It's supposed to feel like an Ezekiel. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a, like a variation of Ezekiel, but on the back. You guys have any other questions? How many fingers do you use? Four. Four. I got them like this. Four, and then repeat. So, a hand that's cross facing them, four fingers inside a sleeve, reach around, and I straighten both arms like this. You guys get me? You guys good? You guys have any questions? No? Alright, partner up, three, two, one.